Hey everybody, I'm Isaac with Mammoth Electronics and today we are going to be tackling our 4S Wah enclosure. We get a lot of questions about it uh, in emails, so uh, we're going to show you how to put one of these things together. We've got our 4S Wah enclosure uh, instructions, so we're going to follow those and uh, see what we get. All right, so step one, we're going to take the top of the wall, which is the treadle, uh, and we're going to take this piece, which is the rack. We're going to attach it with two screws and two washers. Right. Now you want to make sure that the teeth are facing the front part, which is the wide part of the, the top. All right, so we'll lay that back. And at this point, if you want to, you can put on your rubber bumpers and your felt. You can do this at the end, but this way there's nothing obstructing you. Uh, this white felt goes right here where your stomp switch is gonna hit. And it's actually got a, a sticky pad that you can peel off. These two, you've got two that go here and you've got a thinner one that goes back here that you can attach with super glue or epoxy, uh, whatever you want to do. So, I'll just set those aside. Next thing we want to do is put on the rack tensioner. For that, you need the rack tensioner. You need this last washer in here, and you need one more screw. All right. So you screw that in, but you don't want to screw it all the way down because <clears throat> we're going to have to move it later anyway. So you just kind of get it on there and push it down to the side. And then we want to attach our L bracket. Just gonna have the L bracket with two screws and two washers. When you put this on, you wanna match the holes up with the back of the bottom of the wall enclosure. And the part that goes up should have one hole in it. So the screws go up through the bottom. Okay, now we want to take our, let's see, we're on step, next page here, which is step five, with our tensioner block and the Allen screw. So you want to put this on with the round edge down, and the Allen screw goes through there. This is a number four metric Allen wrench. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, you want to tighten it just to where it's not going to fall out of there. Let's see, this next step, this step is optional. This is basically just a guide for if you're uh, uh, putting on a different uh, wall circuit board. Basically it just consists of one screw, a nut and a washer. So that goes in there. This doesn't affect the function at all. It's just kind of a, a guide. Now this part gets a little bit tricky. You want to take your pin and put it 
through to kind of line up all the holes. And then when you take it back out, you want to try to be careful and keep those holes lined up. Now this has one knurled end and a smooth end. The knurled end always goes to the right side of the wall enclosure. So we're going to put the top on now. And this part is a little bit tricky. You want to take the smooth end. Sometimes you have to bring the back of the top of the wall up. Slide that through. And there you go. You should feel it kind of click a little bit. And you should have just a little bit of the pin coming through the left side of the wall there. All right. Now this part is a little bit tricky. So, after that's over, you should have just a little bit sticking out this side, but now you get your wah action. Now what we want to do is take our Allen wrench again, and we want to tighten this up so you get just enough tension on there where you can put the wall at any position and it's not going to fall because of gravity. So tighten that, you can move it anywhere you want, it stays right where it's supposed to. Let's see here, on the next step, is actually putting the pot on. So this part, there's not really a real good way to do it. You wanna keep the, the rack as far back as you can. Put the pot in there and tighten it up. Then the best way I've found is roll it all the way counterclockwise. And on our super swell pots, um, it's got a D-shaped shaft, so it'll be almost flat. And then if you roll it to where it is vertical, that kind of gives you a good place to, to go from. Then you push the rack up against the pinion there. Turn your rack tensioner, tighten it down to press it against the pot. Now you get your wall action. Uh, let's see. And after all that, you should be left with two screws, some wall feet, the bottom plate. Now the feet actually don't have any holes in them when you get them. So you gotta punch the, the screw through there. And you attach your bottom plate. Screw that guy down. And there you go. Now these other two screws that you're left with. These are to actually hold your circuit board on and they attach here and here. Okay, and then continue with the other three. And then your last step is your pad here. And basically it's got a, uh, it's got a sticky pad you can rip up and I would probably add a little more uh, super glue or epoxy, something like that 
put that on and uh, there you go. Working wall enclosure. Uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call or uh, send us an email at sales at mammothelectronics.com. Uh, thanks a lot.